This is our fifth scale model, um, developed from rectified lines of the ship drawn by Southampton University. And we're using this to develop the plank runs for the full-size ship. And um, one of the interesting things that the data has thrown up is that the planks are of significantly differing widths, uh, depending where we, we look at the ship. And that's a bit of a problem because there are modern standards of planking and there is the archaeological evidence and the two are very different. Uh, so we have to take into account the archaeology but we also then have to know why these planks are so different. The fifth scale model has been built because it's much simpler, much cheaper and much easier, less, less time consuming to work at one fifth scale than it is to work in full size. The planks in this will be from uh, five millimeter thick material as opposed to the 25 millimeter oak that we're going to cleave for the full size planking. That means it's, it's much quicker uh, and much more easy to experiment uh, at smaller scales. There was no rudder found with the ship so this will help us also to understand uh, how to locate and to fix the side rudder that we've been used for steering the ship. The, the intention is that this model uh, is completed more or less to museum standard with the rivets uh, so that it, and with all the internal framing and fittings so that we can display it after we've finished experimenting with it. The keel's been very interesting because in the original archaeology uh, there was a lot of data missing from the middle of the ship and so this was interpreted on the drawings and we found that actually the way it was interpreted possibly has produced a keel that is too small in section for the strength and size of the ship. So we have actually increased it in width we've increased the keel in width to try and um, become more like a plank keel with which the type of ship was associated.